stallers. Eyewitness News spent hours reading through hundreds of pages of documents to find out how city leaders struck the deal to have you pay to fix up Bank of America Stadium. Now, after these so-called secret meetings led to a legal complaint filed against the city, Eyewitness News requested the documents to find out exactly how the deal was made. And Eyewitness News anchor Blair Miller spent hours looking over the documents tonight. And Blair, they detail word for word what city leaders said behind the closed doors. Nellie, they do. These documents give us new insight on the deal. They show the Panthers didn't come to the city asking for money. It was the mayor who went to the team. You can't comment on matters in closed session. <laughs> Mayor Anthony Fox would not tell us what was said behind closed doors after this private meeting with the Panthers. But tonight, Eyewitness News has 300 pages of documents detailing how city leaders came up with a plan to renovate Bank of America Stadium. Mayor Fox started the first closed door meeting in September, saying, I called this closed session to talk about the Carolina Panthers. He said this is highly, highly, highly sensitive. Then revealed, they haven't asked us for anything, but I think it would be wise for us to authorize the staff to begin discussions with the Panthers. Mayor Fox said he was concerned. Panthers owner Jerry Richardson was aging, and the team would be sold to another city willing to pay millions. The documents show the city decided then to reach out to the Panthers to offer to help renovate Bank of America Stadium in exchange for an agreement to stay here for years. Some council members were concerned about the city offering taxpayer money when the team never even asked for help. Councilman Michael Barnes said, I have a growing problem with us helping people who are already loaded and who have billion dollar businesses. The mayor even presented plans to pay for the upgrades, first suggesting the city use money reserved for the convention center. The plan later approved by state lawmakers. These closed door meetings led to a legal complaint against the city. A lawyer asked that Mayor Fox and city leaders be held in contempt of court for violating the state's open meeting laws. The city and mayor have said in the past they didn't do anything wrong. The mayor's office did not respond to this tonight. The group that filed the complaint told us it had not read the documents yet. Natalie. All right, Blair, thanks for all that new information there. We were at City Council last night as city leaders approved the mayor's original plan to use convention center money for the renovations. The city will spend 75 million tax dollars on upgrades for Bank of America Stadium. The Panthers will spend 37.5 million. They'll each pitch in a million dollars a year for maintenance. In exchange, the Panthers will stay in Charlotte through the 2022 season. Now you can read through all the minutes from the closed door meetings yourself. We posted all of that at our website, WSOCTV.com. Just look inside that story right there on our homepage.